a junior. Hi, I'm Blake Riley, and I'm a senior from Gothenburg High School. Wow! And this is our poem entitled, Dermatologist Approved. Here's to flush red cheeks and open pores. Here's to oily skin and cystic scars. I don't just wear my acne, acne on my sleeve. sleeve. It has become, become a consistent pattern on all of my clothing. clothing. I leave home each morning dressed in my attire, and I match it with the smell of acne wash and mustard-scented ointment. I've grown tired of the day-in and day-out routine. But because of pimples, I have a best friend who understands me. We both have unconsensual matching tattoos that have bubbled up from genetics and teenage hormones plastered on our skin. A bond that can only be found between blackheads and stinging wounds. Together, Together we face the dermatologist and hold each other's hands through each steam vinegar water attempt. And stab of a needle. If you've ever had acne like us, you'd understand the hype of Accutane. The day I found out I was going to start taking the medication, the 50-page booklet seemed like a souvenir of finally I'm getting better. Each missing school period became exciting when I walked into the doctor's office demanding the needle in my arm, my internal monologue saying, Please, Please say I'm not pregnant, Julie. Julie! Also, you get really familiar with the nurses. Each packet you received ruled out to be a foot long. You unstrapped the tape and kept unfolding until you saw the crossed out no pregnancy lady. That became a decoration on each medication container. The dermatologist's constant reminders and questions about suicidal <laughs> tendencies and diarrhea became a mantra. A song that was always on loop when I placed myself in the plastic seat, or what I like to call home. Through literal blood and tears, I learned that acne surgery is a thing, and I can still feel my sister's hand in mine, promising that the pain will be over soon. It's feeling yeah, the pimple, learn to accept except it's there, even a medication, and grabbing the scratchy loofah and scrubbing until we bleed. In my, all my old photos, my hand stuck to my face like glue, covering any remnants of that I had. When my friends questioned the makeup in my bathroom, how could I explain that the filters on a camera could only do so much? As, As we, we near the end of our medical journey, journey, we look back on the people we used to be and wonder, did, did anything change? Do people like me now? Was it even worth it? Countless hours spent sitting in the waiting room. Hundreds of dollars spent to better my appearance. And, and days, days when looking in the mirror was too much. That it had gotten so bad leaving the bed wasn't even an option. Or am I always going to be remembered as? The girl who wouldn't be considered because of the acne that littered her cheeks. Or as the boy who could be cute if it wasn't for his skin. We, we are acne veterans. veterans. Our, Our memories will always be flooded with reiterated remarks of. You need to pop that. And do you even wash your face? We you know, know what it's like to be called pizza face. We know all the toothpaste treatments and proactive soaps. We wish we grew up being taught that having acne was okay. That acne was a natural phenomenon. That you grew up the same way as everyone else. That when they called you... Crater face. You couldn't help but think of the moon. And how its deep divots are looked at as beautiful. And that you... You are too.